I work with a lot of the women who come out of Coffee, Coffee Creek that um, come out to homelessness sometimes or like um, have DV issues that don't get addressed. This morning, an update on Life Inside. It's KHW's in-depth look at Oregon's only women's prison. Our series aired in early 2020, and it profiled three women who were preparing to get out and start fresh. You just heard from one of them, Vanessa Sherrod. She was at Coffee Creek Correctional Facility serving five years for theft. Today, Sherrod is out of prison. She's doing well, and she's living her dream of advocating for criminal justice reform. Maggie Vespa caught up with her. She joins us now live in the newsroom this morning. Maggie, she has a bill in Salem that she wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, Nina, she does. Two years, you can imagine, after releasing Life Inside. We had so much to catch up on with Sherrod, but we'll start by getting down to business. She's really serious about this bill. Earlier this month, Sherrod testified at a hearing That's for House Bill 4146. If that bill Today, passes, it will direct Governor Kate Brown, Brown to hire a gender responsive coordinator to meet with women at Coffee Creek Correctional Facility, Oregon only women's prison and where we shot life inside that gender responsive coordinator would then examine whether changes are needed to better rehabilitate women. They would then present an assessment to state lawmakers. Sherrod says this is definitely necessary. In her mind, the prison model was invented for men and doesn't adjust for challenges specific to women. For instance, she says women with children are often the sole custodial parent and once incarcerated, they have little access to the court cases deciding what happens to their kids. A lot of moms miss their court dates. And what how does that look like when they're not able to show up for their child's um, court case because um, there's just so many things in place and so many moving wheels that you have to have someone who's like literally involved from the from the beginning. Quick update now on Sherrod. She is frankly doing great. Shortly after her release in 2019, she hit the ground running in Salem, advocating for criminal justice reform off the bat like she always wanted. We've checked in with her work multiple times since then. She's also gotten a job with the YWCA and she's gotten a degree in social work. And her three kids seen there are incredibly proud of their mom. And they're all frankly hoping that HB 4641 passes. We'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, Sherrod is also planning for this year's Day of Empathy. It's a national movement aimed at criminal justice reform. And this year it's set for March 31st. We'll have more info at KGW.com. Guys, back to you. All right, Maggie, live in our newsroom this morning. Thanks for keeping track of that story for the last couple of years.